This is going to be so great. Example right. five. We're going to sketch the graph. You didn't even let me you like. I, no, it's going to be great. So we're going to sketch the graph. This graph right here is f of x, bt dubs. Okay, that graph f is f of x. We are going to sketch on our own graph the graph of 1 plus 2 times f of x minus 1. All right, that means that whole, I can tell right now, first off, yes. the easiest two things for me to see. Okay. We're going to raise that whole graph up one unit. Okay. And we're going to slide that whole graph to the right one unit. Okay, now let's let's make sure that our, our viewers at home follow the fact that this one right here, even though it's in front, it's still like we're adding one right. to our function. Right. Okay, so we've been saying like f of x with a plus one at right, the end, right. but it can be at the beginning because as long as it's being added to our function. Commutative property of addition. Right, yeah, it, either way. All right. Either way. Okay, so I agree. And then the last part of that, which we didn't, we haven't mentioned yet, is the two in front of f of x is a vertical stretch, stretch by a factor of two. By two. Okay, so the way we want to do this. There's, there's multiple ways you could do it, right? You could do each of these things like one at a time. Right. You can try and do them all at once. Right. And it really just depends on how comfortable you are. I do suggest that we do our vertical stretch like right off the bat. Yes, because then, then you just add one to that. Yes. Okay. And so um, the only things, remember, that conflict are our vertical stretch by two and our up one can, can conflict. And which one needs to happen first? The one that's closer to our function, which is the two. Right. Okay. So if we move... Because we're multiplying our function by two first. That's yes. what we're doing. And then, and then, we're, then adding we're moving one. up one. Okay. So, so think about the whole multiply, add, subtract. PIMDAS. Pim, PIMDAS. Is that what yeah. you're talking about? PIMDAS. The yeah. order of operations. Yeah. Please order excuse operation. my dear Aunt Sally. Yeah. Except don't do it in that order. And we're going to show you later this year why that order doesn't always work. But right. you multiply, divide multiply, first, divide add, first. subtract second. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, some points here that would be helpful to us, you know, just... Um, places where we meet like crosshairs or whatever and um like actual points perhaps. Yes, yes so find actual points on the graph so this is like zero comma one right here right we want to multiply our y value by two that's a vertical stretch of two. Zero. Huh? uh two <laughs> sorry i was thinking the point <laughs> so, one multiply zero <laughs> your y value by two so that gives us two. zero two so that brings us up here brings this point up here but then whenever we do this point which is three comma two and now we multiply that y, y value by that's two. four okay plus one well let's just do for i'm just looking at the vertical oh oh right now. sorry sorry just, my mistake by the way. okay all right okay that's what you said yes i said that yes, okay you did. so our vertical stretch now at zero zero that point doesn't that, move. that doesn't change okay but here at negative two negative one we multiply our y value by two and get down here right and so this pink graph is if we just curvy do, sorry about that our, <laughs> our vertical stretch okay. by two and now look it looks vertical it does it, yeah because remember you can't vertically stretch something that's flat it just no you can't move it all you can I mean, do is up and up, down but, but you can't gonna... you can't stretch a flat line up that's just no deal don't do that i mean yeah it did move up the, but yeah, it, but, you, we but didn't, it didn't change. We, yeah, we didn't stretch it. Okay. So now if we do, uh, now we could do up one and right one to me like really easily. Just move each point up one, right one, right? Right. And so this point goes up one, right one, which is technically two mark, tick marks for each. Up one, right one. This one, up one, right one. Yeah. You and know? we're moving the, pink, moving the pink dots. Up one, right one. Oh, looky there. Up one, right one. Okay, and you should kind of be able to see what that graph looks like. So if I move it over to my new graph, I've got the point one comma three right here. I've got the point uh, three comma three, which is right here. I we've can't got the point see these, four so it's a good thing you can see good because five with my young eyes. Um, <clears throat> zero one. Zero one. That one I can tell. And negative one, negative one. Yes and that, that's it that's all you had that's all i had and so then we would connect it with some straight lines that is the straightest line i've ever seen in my life oh. I got... don't give away all oh, our cool tricks oh. you're and free handing it would go that forever okay so that is vertically stretched by two up one right one if you wanted to real and to try really hard and do those all at once you could but just 
keep in mind the vertical stretch or shrink needs to come before that up or right, down. Right, right. Multiply okay. before add. And then it doesn't really matter in this case when we shifted right because y is kind of doing an independent thing from x. Right, right. All and right. this will be something, you know what? You know what might be a good idea? Pause the video. Pause it right now. Redo this problem. After we get done telling yeah, you this, oh, right, then, uh, then yeah. pause. But pause it. Redo the same problem on your own and see if you can match what we what, got. What we got. Yeah. Because it, it really will take a few tries. Yeah, definitely. Takes a little, because we have this function, but we don't know what the function right. is, but right. we're supposed to do stuff to it. It's kind of a weird concept. It is. But you know what? It's a great day to be a bulldog. It is a great day to be a bulldog. It's always a it's great day to be a bulldog. Always a great day to be a code. Uh, Code, a code. Uh, a bulldog. A code. code. A bulldog. It's a great day to be a bulldog. Okay.